oh my god sorting documents as if the real life document sorting isn't already enough of a mess now you need to do it in ClickUp too because if you don't do it right you might just accidentally delete everything or waste your team's time Hi everybody, I'm Yvonne with AskEvie.com and I am a business efficiency consultant for digital entrepreneurs. And right here on my YouTube channel, I show you how you can streamline your business to skyrocket your sales. If you haven't done so yet, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Today we are talking about all organization of your documents in ClickUp. In one of my past videos, I talked about standard operating procedures and how how to integrate them in ClickUp. Now that caused a lot of you to message me and ask about digging deeper into documents because documents is the feature in ClickUp I use to build those standard operating procedures. The thing with that is there is multiple ways to generate a document which easily can end up in a huge mess. So just like we need to file our documents in real life, we just have to file our documents in ClickUp too. There is simply no way around it. And if you want to stay productive and keep your team busy and not wasting time trying to find everything, put in the time now, organize everything and your future team and business will be thankful till the end of your days. Now let's dive in. Let's start with the first way of never ever starting a document and I will tell you why in just a second. When you look at this view, it's your standard task list board view, not a problem whatsoever. You can do a view up there and then add a document. Not a problem if you just need a document and you just want to add it there. Oh, good. The problem with that is if you add that document view right there and you delete the view, the document is gone too. Talking from experience and thank God ClickUp has a trash bin. One of the features I mentioned in my five things you should know about ClickUp video saved my ass. Seriously, I did not know about this connection that when you build a document through the view feature and add it as a view this way and you delete the view, you delete the document. Let's not do that. Let's find another way. So what we do in general, we are going straight up into the documents on the bottom and that's where we start all of our documents. You just click onto your new document, you do all the things you want to do, you hover over the left side and you add other documents underneath it. So we have SOP number one, all cool. We move that under the main one if it actually does what you tell it to do. There we go. Just hover it right over the main document and it will pop in line for that. Now, doing it this way, the document is not associated with any list, any space, anything for that matter. It really is just there. And if you want to deep dive more into that page structure, I'm talking about that on my SOP video. Coming back around to where do we attach documents? How do we not just have them around here? Let's start with the general file structure. When building SOPs in documents, start with the big picture. Are you building a document just for your company, general SOPs, and you are throwing everything in there from HR to billing to marketing to web design, any of your SOPs? Cool. Call the document on top, just your busyness SOP. That is your general document, business, ask EV SOPs and all of your business SOPs go underneath this document. Make sure you are naming it in a way that no matter if you see a space associated or a list associated to it, you know where it belongs to. So in this specific case, I call it business SOP, not a smart idea. It should be ask EV. So you can go back in there 
and just do ask Evie SOP. Now, no matter where I come across this document, I know what it's about. Then underneath you do, for example, marketing, if you can spell. And then you do your, let's do YouTube. And then you add another page that is Facebook and you put it underneath the marketing piece. And that's how you build it up. Now, if you are adding another level of website, for example, keep it as a main document and then build underneath that. That is your general document structure for building SOPs. Now, where do we place those? Where do we attach those? How do we make sure our team really finds these SOPs and finds the documents they need? Right now, this document is not attached to anything. You really have to go into the documents right down here to be able to find it. But this is not efficient. It's like it's a whole list of blah. Okay, there it is. I found it. I didn't need five hours to just find it. Cool. But how can I make it easier? There is a share doc right up here where we either way can share this privately. You can share it with individual people. So for example, if you're building SOPs for a specific client, and the rest of the team doesn't need access to it. You might have some information in there that is secured by an NDA and just specific people are allowed to see that information. This really comes in handy because you can share it with just a specific person in your team. Now, the one we are looking for is share with the location. And that's where you then choose where to attach it. Because this is my Ask EV SOPs, I will attach it to Ask EV Business. Cool. You also can now share this publicly and embed them somewhere. So if you are having any kind of public information or like you share Google Drive Word documents, you can do the same thing right here. Either way, by a link and linking people to the document or by embedding the whole document. Now with that, what does that mean now? Where, where is it? First thing you will see differently is the SOP now is in Ask EV Business. So if we go back to our tasks and you open up Ask EV Business, there is three documents right underneath your space label. When you click on that, you will see Ask EV SOPs and clicking on it opens up the document right then and there, nice, easy, and simple. Now, here are a couple pro tips to make your life even easier. With this collection of papers and documents, you might not want to share the whole thing. You might actually just want to share one document of this collection. If I want to share just my Facebook SOPs, that specific page, we have the share page right up here. And when you click on it, it pops up up as share Facebook page and share public. Now, I don't necessarily want to share this public. These are my internal SOPs. There might be information in there that I don't want everybody to have. Now, here's a little trick. You can copy this URL right up there and people need to be logged in and have access to it. And you can go over to your social media task list and go into your to do and just add it right there. Look, it adds it as an embed. And that is that specific page that now opens up. This is a perfect way to take specific SOPs for that specific task and embed it right in the description. No clicking around, no trying to find the right thing, no spending hours going through all the documents and the sub documents and the sub documents to the sub documents. One click right there. But the people you are sharing this with need to have access to that document. If you want anybody and everybody to be able to see it, you really need to do the share page, get the public link, turn that one on and copy this link. This link now will allow everybody and anybody to see that page, which with SOPs is usually not necessary. Let's dig a little bit deeper into this whole sharing thing. As I mentioned, you can attach it to a space, but what if the SOP is really just specific for your YouTube recording? 
and you really just want to connect it to your YouTube list or a folder in your space or just get way more granular where you attach those documents. Now let's go back into our document and back to our share doc button. As you can see, we had that associated with space as GB business. Cool. But now we want to change it. So we go back in there and rather than just choosing the Ask EV business, and by the way, you can also just select all and it's pretty much attached to every single space. I don't know if there's a need to that necessarily, but comment below if you have a need to attach the same document to all of your spaces. I want to know what you use that for. In this case, we are sharing this document specifically just with my YouTube list. As you saw, I open up the space, I open up the folder, and now I'm choosing the list. Voila, this document now is just shared with the YouTube list. Now, what does that mean over in our task view? Going back over into our task view, there is three documents right here with the Ask EV SOP, but as you can see, it's actually attached to Ask EV Business content and YouTube. So it's shown up there, but it is attached really just to that YouTube list. And this is a rundown of documents in ClickUp, how you should be sorting them, where you should be attaching them, and how to make sense of all of those different things and ways of connecting and linking and doing with your documents in ClickUp. Now you're ready, if you haven't done so yet, to really deep dive into your SOPs, get those set up and get those built. So make sure you're gonna look up my SOP video and go implement. I know it's a lot of work right now in the beginning, but it will save you so much time in the long haul. If you haven't done so yet, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified next time I upload a new video.